I'm going to explain to you why this happened. And at the end of this clip, you will be able to hopefully prevent such situation from happening to you. So explain and analyze how to prevent such financial disappointment. Yeah? You want to review your insurance saving plan progressive profitability before it is too late. Which means that then you decide rationally what is the best way to move forward. If at this point of time you have such a plan and it is uh, even before it reaches the end of the plan maturity and it's falling behind. So you really want to know how to look at the figures before you buy such plan and even after you have bought such insurance savings plan. So this is a real case study of say, uh, you are a father, a mother, and you want to say save, accumulate about 250000 in 15 years using an insurance savings plan, right? Now, um, insurance savings plan, uh, there are a few important components in the quotation or in your policy. Say, you know, you, you, the plan uh, for run for 15 years uh, before it matures, and it requires you to pay a premium of 50000 slightly more than 50000 a year. And this is how it looks like. Now, this 50000 a year, uh, the insurance saving plan in this example asks you to play, pay for the first five years, right? And the six years onwards, you're not paying anything, and then it will just roll. Um, at the end of the 15 year, you get a certain expected uh, money back from the insurance policy, right? This is how it will show you now. So this is how it will look like inside your policy or the quotation. Say at the end of one, two, three, four, five, and the 15 years, now imagine you're buying that for your uh, so-called kids' education. So at this point of time, maybe it's three years old, four years old and so on, so up until 17 years old, that is where mostly you are needed for your university or college's tuition fee, yeah? And the first five years, it's 50000 a year, and then six years onwards, you don't pay anything anymore, right? But how much will you be getting back? Now, for that, there's one very important uh, table inside your policy or the quotation you are seeing. So again, year 1 to 15, age, say that is your kid, as of today, three years old, up until 17 years old, and this is a total premium pay, right? You can see that at the fifth year, you have, would have paid 251000 and then after that, you just stay flat because, hey, you're not paying anything anymore, right? That is how we read the table. And when you look at this, uh, the, the other column that's very important inside that policy of quotation, they will list down your guarantee surrender value, right? So at the, at the end of the 15 year, you can see that it's 238000 right? And then there's another table, uh, which is the B columns, which is what we call projected surrender value, uh, which is uh, not guaranteed. And they always have a projection of a worst case scenario, say, what if it compounds or it gets a return of 2% a year or uh, if it should be uh, the best case, worst case scenario 2% and the best case scenario should be about 5% a year. So how do you want to look at that? The important figure is this, this is how much you would have paid first five years. And then at the end of the 15 year, when so-called the policy matures, you are guaranteed to get back 238000 Guarantee, right? Nothing less, nothing more, nothing less. And in addition to that, you could get an additional uh, non guarantee value, worst case scenario of 6006 or the best case scenario as projected by the insurance company could be about 97, 98,000. So this is how to look at it. Now, in summary, total paid from the first year to the fifth year, 251,000, no payment from year 6 to 15. And then you have your year 15 maturity, you will get back the best case scenario, 335,000. And that is what you get when you add 238,000, which is guaranteed plus a projected uh, return of an additional 97,000. Adds up 235,000. 335,000 or the worst case scenario could be 244,000 which is even less than what you have paid so this is what it see, really means here right? I just summarize that for you now this alternative scenario to say that if you do not use an insurance savings plan you do your own low risk direct investing without using an insurance savings plan this is how I would visually visually represent that for you right so you can see uh, on the this is a classic X, Y axis on the vertical Y axis. Say so you start from zero, but you are paying uh, 50,000 a uh, year or equivalent of what? 4,431 a month. Just like, you know, you top up, you know, invest in whatever tool. And for the next five years, consistently 4,000 for a month. And then just assume that, you know, nothing fancy from when it comes to investment, 5% uh, a year is highly realistic, highly achievable, achievable without uh, any high risk kind of investment tools or instrument. And then at the end of the fifth year, as you can see, it will come to about 300,000, slightly more than 300,000, right? And this is the compounding interest at work, right? You keep on adding in money, 4,000 for a month, but then what you have already saved or added in will be compounded at 5% a year, right? And how about from the six years to the 15 years? Same, right? The exact timeline uh, or the exact cash in, cash out 
uh, e cash inflow or outflow. Same like what you're doing for the insurance uh, in savings bank anyway, but it's doing your own investing. Now again, we have at the start of the sixth year, remember, you already have 300,000, right? Which you have paid and get compounded in the first five years. So you start six years with something which is 300,000 and you do not pay, you do not get any, any money anymore. And you, if you just let the 300,000 compounds interest at, for the next 10 years at the rate of 5% return a year. And you can see that at the end of it, at the end of the 15 year, very in a very realistic manner, you could easily get close to about 500,000 uh, in total after 15 years. If you, you do the same thing like you're doing for insurance savings plan. So if I'm to compare for you, this versus this. On the left hand side, I've shown you that if you do the same thing, you contribute the same amount of money, you could, it's very likely you will get close to 500,000 or 496,000 uh, at the end of 15 years. But if you use an insurance savings plan, you could get 235,000 or even 244,000. So you just compare this value and this value for, through an insurance savings plan, best case scenario and even the worst case scenario. So even if you took the best case scenario for an insurance savings plan, 235,000, compare that with uh, if you were to just do your own 5% a year investing, um, that is a difference of almost 150, 160,000 of difference money. And that is kind of huge. What if for insurance saving plan, you get the worst case scenario, which is just 244,000. Now, that is a big difference compared to 496,000, right? But realistically, uh, if we have seen from uh, our clients that have been have bought some insurance, should, insurance savings plan, you know, in the past, likely the actual uh, maturity value for an insurance savings plan comes in between the worst case and the best case scenario, which is still very a big difference compared to if you were to just do your own low risk investing uh, for the same time period, and you can see that is the difference. Now, I hope this gives you a lot of perspective, insights, but if you're not sure how to do this yourself, if you look at your insurance savings plan policy, or if you are thinking of getting one, and you don't know whether uh, this is the most profitable way you want to accumulate and save money for your child education or for your own retirement, or you just need a second opinion. So there's a link above or below this um, that you could get a second opinion or advice right, on what are the best tools, uh, to best tool, most efficient tool, don't waste time, right? Because 15 years is a long period of time. Uh, by the time that you realize it, you have probably wasted a lot of money or wasted a lot of time uh, putting your money into an instrument tool or a product that does not give you the best return uh, in the 15 years or 10 years time, right? So this CFLU, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can also leave a comment below wherever you are seeing this. And yes, I hope this has been useful.